The Cinema Action Series is back with a new motion pack that brings big budget cinema to your productions. I'm Jeff Sheets, and we call this one Riot. It covers all the moves between an angry protest and an all out street war between demonstrators and police. In the movies, there have been serious thoughtful dramas about frustrated people working for social change. Dramas like Selma, or Born on the Fourth of July, or comedies like Charlie Chaplin in Modern Times, or The Apocalyptic Futures of the Hunger Games, or V for Vendetta. With 60 motion clips and 10 specific scenarios, we've made it easy to stage public outrage, often with a response from law enforcement. We put together a team of actors, returning stars Hanora Gralton and Kenny Waymack were joined by newcomers Shannon Scott and Jerry McNeely. As experienced stunt professionals, they helped us block out our fight scenes. With fight choreography, safety is priority. For example, when you're on a TV or film set and the director wants you to throw a punch, at some times you could be up to three inches away from the other person, and that makes it very dangerous. So what the animator can do in the end, once they've finished filming it, is he can actually push you as close as necessary to the other performer and have you throw the punch and actually hit them without ever putting anybody at risk. And that's one of the beauties of mocap. In addition to the standard issue toy weapons we usually use, we had to build some custom props. For Riot, a standard crowd control shield would not have worked. In mocap, cameras must see as many of the performer's dots as possible. Even a clear shield would have distorted the markers or hidden them from view. We built a stand-in shield that only had the contact points needed by the actors. And they have to use their imagination to remember that the objects in mocap can be bigger than they appear on stage. It was important for us to make these clips loopable. And on a smaller stage, you use some steps to speed up and others to slow down, which is not ideal when you're looking for a consistent speed. We use an online metronome and ask the actors to find their rhythm before moving forward. This helped a lot and we got more original data for longer loops. When it came time to build the demo, we wanted a lot of fast action, so we used actor core to stage huge crowds. I set up the six bystander performances, then cloned them and added a two second offset. Then I cloned them again and added another two second offset. Over time, I used these six clips to create a sea of angry citizens. And because these files are loopable, I didn't have to worry about running out of animation. They're just gonna keep shouting all day long. Then I brought in each of the key moments, and I set up the camera to follow the action. All of our packs should work perfectly with the characters we use to create them. But if you want to substitute a larger character or a smaller character, it's easy to adjust the connections in editing. Reillusion has published some great tutorials on this topic. Then I look for empty spaces in the frame, and I try to find appropriate action to fill it. Our first motion pack, Run For Your Life, those characters are in pink. Offer some chaos loops to make that easy. The themes of this pack can be very serious. Who's on the right side of any issue is completely subjective and ultimately up to you as the filmmaker. We've just tried to provide you with some compelling storytelling options. We love seeing the things you create using our packs. When you post, please remember to use the hashtag ActorCoreRiot. And thanks for watching. <laughs>